Hello, this might end up being one of my shorter or shortest videos ever. I just picked up the new for 2023 Scott Select hinge as well as the Apex Core uh, from Scott Archery so I can start making holsters for them. I purchased the medium and the large so I can cater to everybody and because at this point it's become my mission in life to just buy every handheld release I can regardless of whether I actually end up making a holster for it. Overall, the Select is actually quite nice. I have the two right here. I don't like that Scott hasn't moved away from the rubber bands underneath the hook uh, to keep it in the ready position, especially since their counterparts at B3 are now using magnets. But that's not exactly what this video is about. This is probably going to come out sooner than... Um, my actual review of these, which I'm going to try to shoot next, but this is going to be easier to edit, so it's probably going to come out first. I made a video previously about the Abyss Extension Flex some time ago to bring attention to the fact that the only thing Trueball actually changed on it between their medium and large models was the size of the index finger hole. The rest of the release is completely unchanged despite being offered in medium and large. Well, as it turns out, it isn't the only example of a company cutting corners to maintain the appearance of catering to a fuller spectrum of archers, when in reality, yeah, they're not, or they didn't. When you take the Scott Select and line up the medium and the large, this is the large, this is the medium here, the bodies are exactly the same size. They're machined exactly the same despite being stamped M and L. The finger extensions are the only thing that actually changes between the sizes, and they aren't significantly different. So I don't normally use profanity in my videos, but I'll make an exception in this case. What. The. Fuck. So anyone with large hands looking to try the Select, you can probably write it off because my hands are small, and this is the large, and the finger extension on the large is only a little bit roomy for my fingers. Put down the clanky things so they're not clanking while I'm talking. Anyway, I decided to look more closely at my collection to see if there are other releases that come in different sizes but are actually one size or are not changed significantly. Um, I'm not going to get into those just yet. Um, I want to keep this relatively short, and I do have a resource that makes it easier, and I'm also not going to backlog and uh, go back and try to change things that I've already covered. Um, one thing of note um, I've already mentioned is Trueball uses the same finger extensions on their large and medium flex models. Most of their releases have changes made to the release body at the index and middle finger, like the blade and the HBC flex. Those are changed enough between sizes, like the small is actually a small and the medium and large are um, appropriate to their size designations. The Abyss Extension Flex, though, I found to be a particularly annoying subject or um, subject matter because the middle finger is also a flex piece as well, so it should have technically been adjusted or been made larger on the large than the medium, but it wasn't. So this piece is exactly the same, and the release is essentially exactly the same from the middle all the way over. So offering this release in two different sizes is a complete waste of time. There are also other examples of Trueball making shortcuts like this as well, uh, particularly the Abyss Flex and the Fulcrum Flex. Same deal. The finger rings are the only thing that was changed. Um, the Fulcrum does come, the Fulcrum Flex rather, does come in a small, and that one is actually made smaller, but the large and the medium are essential, eh, essentially the same release, but with a larger index finger ring. Now, to go to the other side of the coin, there are companies who go all in on changing sizes. Well, one in particular has taken the concept to its fullest potential, and that would be Stanislavski. They started doing this with the Perfects, where they offer a bunch of sizes and change all the dimensions between them by 10%. So the thickness, the size of the finger beds change, and the size of the finger extensions change as well. It's not an easy thing to do, and it means machining a lot of different parts. However, if you want an actual fitted feel that may aid your consistency, then Stand is going to be the brand you're going to want to look at, particularly the Onyx, because it comes in five different sizes. Be a pain in the backside to stock, but um, but they're really leaning into the idea of making sure that it is customized to you. 
I'm going to hold off on sharing more examples of questionable sizing practices in this video, mostly because I have other videos to shoot and because you can see them for yourself by going to my website and checking out my sizing guide. It's at artandarchery.com. I have printable PDFs with scale pictures of every release I own, though I have a few like the Apex Core, the B3 Hook, and Hook Mini and a couple others that I still need to scan in and make the sheets for. So for future videos, whenever a manufacturer offers a release in different sizes and I have them in my possession, I'm going to make sure to compare them and explain exactly what they changed between them. And if there's some shenanigans going on with them, I will call them out on it. I'm going to close out on a message to the manufacturers, because uh, I know some of them at least know that I exist, and I expect... Uh, in the future, over the next year or so, that my audience is going to get a little bit bigger. I'm going to try to post more videos. I'm also going to start uploading my videos to Rumble, um, if anybody wants to view it on there. So, here's my message to the manufacturers. If you're going to offer a product in different sizes, especially something that is meant to fit something as intricate as the human hand, please don't cut corners and hope nobody notices. If you're going to do that, just put it out in one size and then be done with it. That's it. So thank you for watching or listening. Take care, stay safe, and happy hunting. Good afternoon. This might end up being my shortest video ever. So I just picked up the new 2023 Select Hinge Core from Scott Art Hinge Core. That ain't right.